How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another awesome, amazing video of Ark Survivor Evolved Lice Island series. Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, let me not go too far. Let me not go too far. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we have a lot to do today for our series or what we uh what we have planned today. Let me go ahead and put this stone inside of this thing so it can start making some anything face for me. Um, but we have a lot of things planned for today as far as the Ark Survival League goes. Um cementing place please and thank you hold up let me let me focus okay we have a lot today okay okay we have a lot to do today all right so the first thing that we're going to be doing today is actually going to be expanding our um our mob grinder just a little bit okay i don't know why my griffin's all the way up there but um yeah we're gonna be expanding the mob grinder just a little bit um if you guys didn't watch the last episode we actually made this um as inspiration from our last farm that we have over there it's evolved a little bit and the main reason why i wanted to move it or and slash change it in the first place is because a lot of the uh, parasaurs were getting stuck inside of the metal foundations so i made the, the uh the drop zone a little bit bigger where there's literally no metal foundations in the vicinity that the parasaurs can like grow up on and get stuck which was annoying because i wasn't able to hit them my dinosaurs wasn't able to hit them i wasn't able to uh, harvest them at all um which was really bad but this design is way better no parasaurs get stuck which is absolutely phenomenal um and it generates a good amount of metal and uh elemental and and oil elements uh, it's, it's, it's just great okay it's a great farm but i do want to evolve it a little bit because this is only the parasaur section i want to also have a manta session um because over there we had the parasaur farm mixed with the mantis farm because the mantis gives us the chitin the raw meat um and then the parasaurs gives us everything that we need for metal and oil and pretty much all of that jazz right um which is really really good except this part doesn't have mantis so we're going to be evolving this a little bit and I already started working on it just a tad the idea was to have pretty much just just copy what we have down here for parasaurs and then paste it up there that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. I already made the platform that's going to have the uh, the male mantis on it. These are going to have the female mantis on it. Eggs are going to drop down there. And they're just, they're just going to mix in with the parasaurs. Now, this is a little bit risky um, just because the way that mantises work and how strong mantises are. Um, imagine like having 20 mantises down there and they all lunge at you and try to kill you, right? The fact that they can jump makes it a lot trickier as well because this is such an open farm. These aren't really walls that's protecting me or my dinosaurs so i think a mantis would more than likely be possible to jump out of this platform and attack some of my dinosaurs which would be bad um but i'm just hoping that just won't happen and they'll just come straight here which is pretty much where i'm going to be killing them um and uh yeah we're going to we're almost actually almost done with this per se the only thing we need to do now is to put the rest of the doba door frames up along with the ramps and the ceilings which i can do right now hello mr turtle um, I th I'm pretty sure I crafted some more of these guys, right? Somewhere in here. Yep, 13 of these. That should be enough. Um, and then we could go ahead and place down all of the mantises, put them in place, and just see how good this thing actually works. I'm hoping it works good. Because it would suck if it didn't. It would definitely suck if it didn't. This goes up by, I want to say, five, four. Yeah, that's, that's four, right? I think that's four. There we go boom 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 and boom all right that's looking jazzy looking good now we got to put down our stairs ah. there we go all right and then the last thing we gotta do is put down yeah that's looking good right it's getting a little bit dark last thing we gotta do is put down these i only have two of those which honestly isn't ideal but it should be fine and we could just take some from here once I actually, uh, once I put the mantis in its place. I don't know which mantis it is. Is it this one? Male mantis. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's exactly the one we need. And I also should probably get the saddle for the mantises. Um, do I have saddles in here? No, I don't. I have no clue where my mantis saddle is. I could just, I could easily just craft one. It's getting a little bit laggy. It's getting a little laggy. I'm feeling the lag. Let me put all my dinosaurs on passive here. There we go. Because I think when you take dinosaurs out of the chiropods, they're not on passive anymore. It's getting laggy. I'm going to blame it on the parasaurs. I'm going to blame it on the abundant amount of parasaurs that's here. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Big old lightning wyvern. Lightning strike. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Some of them can come out. 
That is so nice. One more. Nice. And then we could just come in here, eat them all up. And I believe the wyvern has the range to... Are those stuck? Oh, okay. It looked like they were stuck on something for a second there. But yeah, the wyvern should just have the, uh, the range to be able to just eat them all. There we go. And if not, we can always just come on the side like this. Now your storage is definitely full, my friend. You have, look at that, oil. 2,300 oil. 2,300 metal. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick that up. Just going to go ahead and drop that off. I haven't, uh, I haven't cleared out his inventory in a while. Um, The elemental, all of this, all of this, it's just... It's amazing, okay? This farm is absolutely amazing. And then it automatically gets sorted over there. Extremely convenient. I'm, I think that's pretty much all that I need to need to get. And that pretty much doubled all our uh, FPS just like that. So yeah, the, the only bad thing about this farm, that's it. That's the only bad thing. The fact that it's laggy because of all the entities. That's the only bad thing. But, I mean, we could easily just turn it off if we just tell the male parasaur that he doesn't want to breed anymore. Um, And I don't know if any of these are mantis. Okay, cool. We got two of them. Um... Yeah, we only need well, um, yeah, we only need one. I don't think we're gonna need more than one. All right, Mr. Male Mantis, I'm gonna need you to go in the middle for me. That's uh, I mean, this works. I prefer him to not look so weird when he's here like that. You know what I mean? Because that's weird. But it's so hard to get these uh, perfect, you know? We might just have to... Oh. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's not happening. We're, we're just going to have to have you stand like that. <laughs> You'll be good like that. You'll be perfect. That's, that's perfectly fine. Just like that. I think I actually put him on aggressive for a second. Um, but yeah. Now we just got to get all of the females out, which if I can do this correctly, I can place them down without even having to maneuver them, which would be extremely convenient. Um, got no idea if that worked, but we're going to roll with it for now. Mantis are a little bit bigger than I, uh, than I thought compared to the parasaurs. Yeah, that one's not going to fit. I would probably have to move that floor or ceiling rather. In order for this one to fit. There we go. I could have just stood up here and did it. I just realized. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to move them around. Um, oh, come on. It's probably because I was in the way. There we go. All right, and last one. Nice. And now we just have to maneuver you guys just a little bit so that the back end view is almost falling off. Not exactly falling off, just almost falling off. Make sure I put you guys on passive because if you guys don't know, at least I want to say that this happens. If you take a dinosaur out of the chiropod, um, Actually, no, that's not what happens. If you if if you breed a dinosaur and you like claim him when he ever he's not on passive. That's that's he's not on passive. So like I had that problem earlier where I was breeding dinosaurs to put back into my farm, like female, uh, female like parasaurs and everything. And then I would turn the farm on and then I would start attacking the, the ones that I wanted to loot from. And then my farm would break because the female parasaurs inside the farm would start attacking uh, the ones that I was taking the loot from, which was bad. It was really, really bad because then I had to take them all and put them all back. It was really, really bad. Um, but yeah, just fair warning. If you ever do create a farm like this and you need more female um, parasaurs or mantises or whatever you may need, whatever type of farm you make, make sure you always put them on passive. It's detrimental to your farm. Quite literally detrimental. This one almost fell off. Back you up a little bit. That's a little bit more. That should work. 
Almost done. Oh no! This one fell. God dang it. That's fine. That is fine. I think when I get on a mantis, it breaks my uh, it breaks my character a little bit. Because as soon as I get off of the mantis, I can't move anymore. It's really weird. It's really, really weird. I wonder if the saddle actually stayed on this mantis or not. It did. How convenient. Wow. Okay. Okay. Just got to not fall. Okay, that was close. Is it be I think it's because this other mantis is so close to me. See, like, I can't move right now. I literally can't move right now, and I don't know why. My character is apparently, my character's falling. This, this does not happen occasionally. It quite literally only happens when I get off of Mantis. It's weird. There we go. I don't know why it happens, but uh, I'm blaming it on the Mantises. That's the only creatures that it happens to me on is the Mantis. Every other creature is fine. All right, and... think that's good no way that's not no way that's not good that's got to be perfect it's got to be perfect two more to go um let me turn the brightness up actually there we go now i can see see no <laughs> why do you have to fall i do not want to shoot the uh the parasaurs. Let me get. Let me get it. Good. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Back it up. Back it up. I wonder what's making him fall. Maybe because I'm so close to the parasaur. Oh. Okay. We're just gonna keep you there. I think that's good enough. Right. Actually, I'm. I'm gonna bring you up more. Actually, because. Just because that parasaur is there, I don't want the egg to fall on the parasaur. Like trial and error. I didn't think about that until now. We're just gonna have to test it. We're just we're, we're literally just gonna have to test it out, see what happens. Um I didn't even think about that. I don't want the egg to fall on that on the male parasaur down there. That would not be good. But theoretically, this should work. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to move this one up just a little bit. Okay. Um, there we go. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. And I'm stuck a little bit again, but we need to change all these and mating anyway. So being here is not a bad thing until we can't reach one of them over there. There we go. And while I'm here, I'm going to switch all these to ramp because it just looks way better. Versus having them as stairs, in my opinion. And then we turn the male one on. Go ahead and get you to breeding. Make sure... Alright, they're all in range. Nice. Alright, all of these are in range. Cool. Alright, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm hoping this will work flawlessly. If not, I cry. Pretty much. Pick those up. All right, let's see. I'm going to leave it AFK for just a little bit to see what we come back to. And I'll be right back. All right, so we're back after like around like five, 10 minutes or so. Um, and I want to say a full cycle of the eggs have gone out from the mantises. Um, and none of them got stuck. Um, you see, we got a few mantises down here. None of them got stuck up on these platforms. None of them got stuck on the parasaur platform. None of them got stuck on their platforms themselves. I want to say this is a fully functional double decker parasaur and a mantis farm. Um, the only problem that I've noticed is that there's a mantis over here and I've got th this. This is the same spot the parasaur was and I've got no idea how it even got over here considering there's literally no mantis above it that could have dropped an egg directly in this location. Um, and I've got no idea how it happened, especially considering the fact that mantises, their eggs instantly fall to the ground. There's not, they don't actually drop like an egg that rolls or could even like move it literally just drops in a spot where it drops and that's it 
Um, so yeah, I've got no idea why there's a mantis over here. Hopefully I will be able to actually kill it. Um, and this is going to be the moment of truth. We're going to take our lightning wyvern out. We're going to spray a lightning bolt in here and see just what happens when there's, um, like 10 or so mantises. Let me make sure everything's on passive just to make sure even the bigger precaution. Just gonna make sure everything here's on passive. All right. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. All right, here we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing drastically bad happens. Taking a little bit of damage from something somewhere. Which is fine. It seems like the only way they can get out is through the door. Which is what we wanted in the first place, right? Uh oh, one of our mantis has failed. Why did you fall? I gotta figure out why that mantis fell. Other than that, this is working pretty well. That went pretty well besides you falling for some reason. Why did you fall? Your aggression level is on passive. You're literally on passive. I've got, uh, they all fell. Well, on this side, where did they go? They run? They're all on passive. They're not on passive flee. Other than that weird behavior. Yeah, they're on passive. Other than that weird behavior, um, I mean, it worked, right? All of these are still here, but all like quite literally the mantis that were here are no longer here. And I've got no idea where they went. Um, there's one down there. Mantis level 49 all the way down, uh, down there. Um, there might be one over there, but yeah, I've, I don't know. I don't know why they just like instantly ran away like that. That is really, really weird. Um, I've got no idea, but yeah, question mark. And I've also have no idea why there's just random loot bags here. Whoops. With, with loot in them. That's another weird one. Usually they just all just come on to the lightning wyvern, no? Huh. Yeah, I've got, I, I don't know. That's weird. I've never had that happen where the loot bags don't go on the wyvern. Or the loot itself doesn't go on a wyvern. That's also might be a problem since the mantises are able to damage the generators here. That could lead to a bigger problem later in the future, possibly. Wait, can the wyvern not pick up the chitin and stuff? Hold on, what's going on here? What's going on here? The chitin and the organic polymer is here, but the wyvern quite literally didn't pick it up. He quite literally just didn't pick up any... Oh, no, chitin's here. Or, okay, I'm just blind. I'm just... I'm completely blind. That's all. That's all the time. I'm just blind. Okay, so, yeah, that's the thing. Um, But I still have no I, idea why three of the mantises decided to like run away um i'll fix that i think um huh weird very weird very 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 weird but um yeah let me fix that real quick all right so we're back um i fixed it and honestly i've got no idea why it happened in the very first place but i went ahead and turned off the parasaur farm just because we don't really need that many parasaurs anymore um and we just got the mantis farm running because we need a lot of cementing paste which means we need a lot of chitin and the organic polymer is a plus side um and we're also running a little bit low on meat so uh i think we're just going to have the mantis farm running for now i got no idea how that happened um what? How did you end up on the outside of the farm? I'm going to just claim you because I don't feel like dealing with you later on. I That makes no sense to me. We're going to have to make a better version of this eventually. So stuff like this doesn't happen. Um, but for now, this would be good enough until version three of this farm, which I will definitely be making a video on. 
uh, whenever I actually make the version three, which honestly, I don't have one, but we'll have one eventually. Um, but yeah, so that's fixed. Don't know why it happened. Only going to be having the Mantis to spawn in for now. Um, and it helps with lag since the parasaurs aren't also going to be spawning the only thing that we're missing as far as like mass producing stuff from farms will probably be leather i don't think these these guys don't drop leather they drop chitin instead um and we need leather for gasoline to actually be able to use a lot of the machines that we use um but yeah we're getting the oil from the parasaur so that's a plus only thing we're missing is leather and i don't really know which creature i would prefer to have to actually give us the leather um and honestly, I don't even know if that if it's even that big of a problem for us to make a whole farm out of it, to be fair. Um, but if, you know, that becomes a thing, we're just going to have a leather farm and maybe even a pelt farm with the dire wolves, potentially. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, now there's one thing that I really have been wanting to do, which is going to be the next thing on our bucket list. And that, my friends, is to get a wyvern army i've it, it's been a couple of episodes now where i have showcased not really showcased but have like going on adventures and you guys have seen it the alpha right there's a fire dragon an alpha fire dragon an alpha fire wyvern out there um i vaguely know where the location is it's somewhere in a snow biome um but i want to kill him and i know that if i try with my current wyverns they are going to die because i want to say he's like level 100 he's a level 100 fire wyvern like that is insane so we're gonna make an adventure um and we are going to try to get a lot of wyvern eggs i'm looking to get an army i want to get at least five our, our, the army is going to consist of five different wyverns it's going to consist of a uh poison wyvern a lightning wyvern a fire wyvern and then no sorry as <laughs> one ice wyvern one fire wyvern one poison wyvern and two lightning wyverns because i feel like the lightning wires the lightning wyverns have the highest damage per second um and then the fire ice and poison is just there for their utility like the burn over time or the poison over time along with the uh making the um the alpha wyvern slower so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to be taking uh i'm going to be taking where i picked you out earlier this one right here mainly because she has twenty thousand health uh which we're gonna need a lot of health if we're gonna go and try to take out not really take out but go and try to um steal a bunch of eggs from the the, the caverns and caves and everything um i'm hoping to get some really really good ones some really high level ones with some really good stats maybe do a little bit of breathing here and there and uh and uh yeah I'll catch you guys back later once we're actually at the cave. All right, so we're at the Ice Wyvern Trench, and I can already see just, just a bunch of commotion going on on the outside, but what we want is what's on the inside. We don't care about the outside. We do not care about the outside. What we want is on the inside, and I vaguely remember the locations where they actually do spawn. Um, and we're just going to ignore everything and go straight for the eggs. If there are eggs here, which there are, there's one right there. Okay, we're looking good so far. First location of spawning, and there's already an egg here, which there, it's a, uh, are you high level or low level? Level 20, come on now. We're gonna need to take them anyways, just so we can, like, have them respawn. That's the only reason why we're taking the bad ones, just so they can respawn. Um, because I don't know if this is true or not, but if you don't take the bad ones, then they won't respawn and they'll just be there. Um, either that or they're actually hatched to actual wyverns. I don't know. I don't know what the process is, um, when it comes to the wyverns, but... That's just that's quite literally just my theory of what actually happens to the eggs when they uh, when they despawn or when they spawn in level 95. That one's getting eaten up as well. Now, these are going to be the risky ones. No wyverns are after us yet, but in this cavern inside of this cave, um, this is where all the wyverns start to chase you down because you're going inside of their home and there's probably wyverns in here as well. Yep, there's one right there. Wait, is that ours? No, that's not our wyvern. Okay. It's not our wyvern um egg right there looks like there's only one egg in here pretty much hello the easiest way i figured to defeat these guys instead of like doing an aerial battle is to quite literally just go in the air not go in the air but just sit down there we go he's dead looks like that's the only one but then again they could come from the outside and come on the inside um potentially there's another one that one looks like it's stuck in the wall though 
Interesting. Where was that egg? We oh, is this the egg we just saw? Yep. No? Yeah. I don't see the wyvern that was stuck in the wall, so we're just gonna grab this. Level 20! Two level 20s and a level 95. That's not good. Any other ones here? There's another one. Okay. If this one, this one has to be like a level 130 higher. Please! This guy's a high level. One more hit should do it. There we go. Level 155. Yeah, that guy was definitely high level. Wow. Okay. And... Ooh, the turn radius on these guys is immense. Here we go. Please be high level. Please be high level. And level 155. Let's go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's go ahead and eat. Let me make sure I don't eat the level 155 because that would be bad. That would be really bad. Level 155 Ice Wyvern Egg. That's actually really, really good. Um, I'm hoping maybe we can maybe get like... This is a stretch, but like five? Potentially? Like five like level 130 plus Ice Wyvern Eggs? Potentially? Um, because I already know that some of the level 155 is going to have bad stats. So I, I just would preferably like to have a lot of variety when it comes to the eggs situation. Um, but beggars can't be choosers, right? So realistically, it might not happen. I don't even think any of the eggs spawned back yet. Yeah, there's no egg over there. Got a falling. I don't even know what those things are called, but he's falling. No egg over there. We might have ran out of eggs. It's extremely likely we, that we ran out of eggs. Um, yeah, and I doubt that any have spawned back inside of here. I don't know what the spawn time is for these eggs, but we could just go check out the fire wyvern cave or the volcano cave for the lightning, uh, poison and fire wyverns. And just come back to this location afterwards to see if anything has changed. Um, that's more than likely what's going to happen. We're going to just take multiple trips back and forth. Um, and just hope. Pretty much just hope that we find something. Alright, I'm going to head over there right now. Because that's like a nice little decent journey. And I'll see you guys once we actually get over there. Alright, we made it over here. And uh, two of my ice wyverns from way back when have just now <laughs> returned to me. <laughs> the DPS ones that I had when I was uh, originally doing this. I think there's another one down here as well. I can kind of see his wings a little bit. I just forget about these guys sometimes, you know? Which is bad because they're being neglected. And I think that one's stuck in the wall. Are you mine or no? You are mine. Hello. Um, wait, is this a Magmasaur cave? Is this a Magmasaur cave or the Wyverns here? What cave is this? I don't remember seeing a magma sword the last time. No, this is the why this is definitely the wyvern cave. I don't remember seeing a magma sword though the last time I was here. That's uh That's interesting. But while we're here, we might as well do some investigation and kill a bunch of wyverns while we're at it. Take him out, please. I'm glad uh I'm glad I got my boys here. That's for sure. This wouldn't have been difficult, but it would have been annoying without them here, to be honest. There we go. I could just let them deal with that one and I can yoink this. What is this? A fire wyvern egg? Can I land? These, uh, these little nest locations are a lot smaller than the, f uh, than the ice wyvern ones. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm safe. Got a level 50. Horrible, but we'll deal with it. Any other ones in the location? Doesn't seem like it. Not that I can see. Just realized we're burning up. <laughs> I didn't even notice at first. Um, 
I'm gonna keep my Gilly on. I think Gilly helps against heat. Yeah, that'll work. Another one over here. It's a yay situation. We're fine, right? I trust my Ice Wyverns. My Ice Wyverns definitely got this. 100% they got this. I just don't like the fact that they're so close to me right now. It's scaring me. I don't want the fire to reach me, but I think I'll be fine. Level 90. Meh. Let's go deeper inside this cave. There's got to be some higher level ones. It's got to be. I don't know how lucky we are to have found two, but hopefully we can find like six or something. Because that's what we really need right now. Like six of them, realistically. Um, there's a lot more Wymerns up in here. Well, not really a lot more. Just two. Three. There's a egg over there that I see. Yeah, I'm gonna need my boys to come up in here. There's no way. I, <clears throat> there's no way I'm hopping off my wyvern right here at all. Where are they? Are they still? They're probably still fine at wyvern, aren't they? Or no? Did you guys kill him? Wait, is this him? No, those are my boys. Yeah, you guys killed him. Good job, good job, good job. I have some friends for you guys, okay? Um, I need them to all die. Preferably. One of us just passed us, but we're going to be fighting over here instead. Just keep following me, right? There's two of them on you guys, but just keep following me. Um, and we'll be safe. can land over here. Honestly, we might be able to yoink it right now. I'm gonna try to yoink it. Level 90. <laughs> Not the best. That one's definitely getting eaten. Um, Any other ones, though? There's got to be some other ones up in here somewhere. There's one to my right. This will be number four. This one's gonna be a lot riskier to actually get though. Considering, I'm pretty sure that's my Rex as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's my Rex. He's fighting my Rex right now. Rex is getting tore up though. Going up there could be risky. Little scared. I'm gonna do it though. While they're fighting. I'm bold. Two wyverns battling it out right next to me. And I'm gonna go take their level 55 egg. Level 55. That's pathetic. And now we leave. <laughs> that went way better than I anticipated it. I was expecting to actually get hit from something. Um, but hey, we got lucky. Any other ones? We got a... Wait, is that a poison? That looks like a poison egg. That's definitely a poison egg over here. Hell yeah. I think this will be my first poison egg that I've seen. How dare you eat me? You learned a lesson today. All right. Um, nothing else near me, which is good. There we go. All right. What level are you? You are level. Woo! Wow. Level 190. What's the highest level these guys can go? Oh, that's insane. I thought the highest level was 150. Actually, no, I just realized the highest level, I think, is 250. I think. Right? No? Because this one's level 254. And he's leveled up, like, 
I thought this was the highest level. I thought 150. Yeah, because... Let me see. Because that's like 30. That's like 40... Maybe 50, 60 levels. I think this guy was like level 190 when I got him then. Maybe 190 is the highest level. Interesting. Okay, so I was like mad hype about my um, level 155 ice wire. I mean, that's not even the highest level. Highest level, I think, is 190. We got a level 190 poison wire. I've never had a poison wire before. That... That is exciting. Let's go ahead and eat these. Uh, let's go ahead and eat these fire wyverns up. That is exciting. I've never had a poison wyvern before. I've had every single wyvern except poison. Awesome. We might be able to just check off the poison wyvern off our bucket list, especially if this guy is good. Um, hopefully he is. Let's go a little bit deeper. I doubt that any of the eggs have respawned, but we're going to take another trip back through the cave just in case. Um... Do eggs even spawn in this part of the cave or no? Doesn't seem like it. I don't see any like spawning spots where it's like a little circle. Maybe up there. Um, but there's no egg up there, so maybe not. Think that might be it. We're going to take another little stroll, though. Just in the case we miss something, because you never know, truly. But from the looks of it, we didn't. I'm so excited about this poison wyvern right now. Never had a poison wyvern before. Oh, it's going to be so cool. All right. We, yeah, there's nothing through here. Nothing right there. You killed a fire wyvern. Congratulations. Nothing in those three. Nothing in there. Okay, I think we got all the eggs out of here. We're going to have to wait a little bit more for them all to respawn. Um, but I do want to check back at the ice wyvern location just to see if there's anything in there. Because we've been here for a good little minute. So um, I do want to check back at the ice wyvern location. See if anything spawned. Just gonna double check just a tad. And I'm actually surprised to see a Magmasaur here. Considering this isn't like a Magmasaur cave or anything. I wasn't expecting to see a Magmasaur inside of a Wyvern cave, you know. That's a little different, I should say. A little different. Are you one of mine? I need to check that. You are. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Ice Wyvern cave um, to see if there's anything there. Um, if not, I think we're going to go home and I want to hatch this. Uh, I want to hatch this wyvern. I want to hatch the, the, the poison wyvern. I think it's going to be awesome. I never, I don't even know what they look like. Um, yeah, I don't even know what they look like. But yeah, I'm going to catch you guys back once we actually arrive at the ice wyvern location. All right, we're back at the ice wyvern location. Let's go ahead and take just a quick tour just to see if anything spawned. I need to figure out what the spawn time is for eggs. Um, I feel like it, it might be a timer. I don't know if it's RNG or a timer or what, but so far, there's no eggs in here. So far. Um, sadly, a bunch of wyverns, no eggs. Or maybe, I wonder if it has anything to do with the spawn count of uh, dinosaurs in the area, too. Maybe they can't spawn in if the cap is too high. What is that? That is definitely not a wyvern. That is a daydon inside of a wyvern at, uh, nest. Can't believe a daydon spawned up there. I'm pretty sure he didn't walk up there or climb up there. He definitely spawned in there because there's no way... <laughs> There's no way. Gonna check inside the mother loading desk real fast. It'd be pretty cool if the fire trench or volcano trench or whatever you call it had like one of these low cave situations with like their own eggs in them and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Um, my Sino Macrops died? Okay. I don't know how. That's a little sad. I do have a few more back at home. Um, but that sucks i he just randomly died too i'm pretty sure he might have died of hunger because i never feed those things um i need to keep watch of that now because that's sad but yeah i don't see any wyverns my stamina is mad low i don't see any wyverns eggs in there um i was gonna say as soon as my stamina goes back up we can actually like move but there's something trying to kill us so we're not gonna be able to do that <laughs> 
Um, but I'm gonna head back home and I will see you guys once we actually get there to actually hatch uh, the poison wyvern because I am excited about that. All right, we're back. And uh, now that I think about it, I really don't know where to hatch these things uh, considering the only place that I actually even have. Look at these guys. Woo! The only place that I have um, air conditions is here. So I think what we're gonna do is just kill all the mantises that's here. And we're just gonna get the air conditions out and be happy. Um, yeah. Or get the wyverns out and be happy. Should I have lightning strike? I'm not gonna lightning strike. We're just gonna hit. We're just simply gonna hit like this. I was thinking about getting the lightning strike out, but nah. Maybe we should have. Look how many are in there. And they have like high health too. They do a lot of damage. I just took 400 damage. My wyvern's health is actually. Wow. He only has 4,000 health, though, to be honest. I wasn't, you know, <laughs> wasn't expecting that, but we, we got him. You know, they're dead. Some of them. Some of them are still alive for some reason. All right, there we go. Okay. So, if we just go here and we drop these guys down... Oh, it's too cold. Too cold. Huh. Um. What if I do this? Put you guys right in front of these air conditions. Are you still too cold? Yeah, you're too cold. We might have to make a new air conditioning room or a taming or uh, wyvern hatching room with like just a bunch of air conditions because uh, apparently it's too cold in this location, Um, which makes sense, but sucks. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, let me see. I think you make these inside of here. Here. Yeah. Okay. What do we need? Polymore, metal. Oh, the crystal is going to eat us. We do have 468 or 65 crystal though, which is really nice. What else did we need? Um, air. Was that it? Electronics. We need a lot of electronics. How many? 25. I don't know if we're going to need more than 25, but I know that we have a lot of... Whoa. whoa. I definitely know we got more electronics than that. Uh, yeah, 14,000. There we go. There we go. Let's just take the 4K out of here. And 30. Let's make all 30. That's going to devour our crystal a lot. But it's very necessary and needed. Um, so while we're doing that, we need an actual location for us to put the egg. And I'm thinking we could transform this location right here. We just need a big area that's a square with foundations on it and we'll be fine. Um, and you know what? This location is going to be that location. I don't really care about all the metal stuff. Just because we can literally just make more. The only thing I want is the actual foundations, and we're just going to claim you for the sake of claiming you. Get you out of here. Whoops, I think I actually destroyed a foundation there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and I know exactly where one of the Sino Macrops is. So I'm just going to go ahead and take... Ooh, fall damage. Ouch. I'm just going to pick you up because your buddy died on me. What's your hunger at? Okay, you're good on food. We got 3,400 food. You're good on food. Let's upgrade... Get your stamina to 2,000. And then we're just going to upgrade a lot of your weight. And then just because I can, I'm giving you more food. That way I never have to worry about food on you and then I can just put a stack of chitin on you and, and call it a day. <laughs> I don't want another one of my Sinal Macrops dying on me. I don't even know where the other ones are. I remember I brewed it like, a, like five of them, but they're somewhere around here, just here. And I've got no idea where. But they're here, for sure, they're here. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start working a little bit more on our, I guess, spawning platform for Wyverns. I suppose you could call it that. Um, and yeah, once I'm done, I will catch you guys back. All right, so I went ahead and, uh, you know, 
I made a bunch of generators. Um, this should be good. Um, it is good, in, in fact. Oh, we got one minute and nine seconds, or one minute and 12 seconds for both of these to hatch, which is going to be a little bit weird considering they're both going to hatch at the exact same time and probably grow into each other. But they're going to be brother and sister, or brother and brother and sister and sister, or whatever and whatever. Uh, but, but, but yeah, they're, uh, I'm actually very surprised that this electric junction has reached all the way over to this refrigerator. I was not expecting it to have that type of reach, but. The more you know, um, yeah, I'm extremely happy for this poison wyvern. I think level 190 is the highest level. It's either 190 or 255, because it's definitely not 150, obviously. Um, but I think it's 250 because uh, I've never seen a higher level wyvern than the ones that I have for as far as the ice wyverns go. Because this one has leveled up like 60 times. The, the 23 plus the 15 plus the 13 and the 18 is roughly 60 according to like uh smudge math so that's a thing um and all the other ones are around in that same boat i don't think i've ever seen a higher level than 190 so i'm really hoping that this wyvern has good health and good damage i'm really hoping for that right now um this one's about to hatch as well i can go ahead and imprint on both of them they hatch really really fast so i'm i'm definitely not expecting um any imprints that would be like oh wants to be cuddled okay 50 percent imprinting on that one that's absolutely awesome and uh there oh wants to be cuddled there we go uh this one wants milk or going to walk with me and this one probably wants to go on a walk with me too right yeah um but yeah here we go we got our wyverns um let's go ahead and just shoot both of you guys so i can take you out All right, let's take a look at the ice wyvern first. Uh, food. He really likes food, apparently. 22 health, 28 melee. Yeah, you're not. You you wasn't max level. I thought this one was max level. That's why I was happy. Um, But definitely not max level. And definitely probably is just going to be useless to us, realistically, sadly. But that's the truth. Um, Sorry, ice wyvern. Now, as far as the lightning wyvern. Not lightning, but the, uh, the poison wyvern goes... Oh, I really love that color. That green is beautiful. Oh, and then the fins, like the versus like that type of head top, the fins on this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. Now, do you have good stats? You don't. Uh, for, well, 40 food, 24 health. You have the lowest out of all of your stats. Your health is literally the lowest. That sucks. 35 melee isn't too bad, at least. You know, you. I wish that food stat was your health. I wish you had 40 health and 24 food. Um, but, I mean, melee isn't that bad. Not that bad for melee. We'll, we'll give you that for the melee. 35 melee isn't the worst. It's not the worst. Your looks make up for it, though. You look awesome. You look freaking awesome. Let's shoot something. How does that work? interesting so it's not really like a breath and that looks like some lingering effect as well so you shoot like a ball like a kind of like a fireball but it's a poison ball and it looks like it defies gravity yeah it doesn't like go downwards like the uh, fireball off the magmasaur interesting whoa it's hard to aim with it, though. How do you aim with this? Like, if I wanted to hit the... There we go. 26 damage with 10 poison damage, it seems. 10 poison damage over time. Um, interesting. All we would have to do now is pretty much level up his... Uh, level up his melee a lot. Because his uh, his health is not looking really good right now. I'm a little bit scared to even use this guy inside of the, the trap that we have. Just because I don't want him to die. Um, this is a sticky situation. Um, but I do love him. I do love him a lot. Um, and I'm really happy. We're going to have to go back and find more. Um... Now that we have the poison, we could use the lightning wyvern that we already have. 
But I do want another Lightning Wyvern. Um, this one has 600 melee damage. But he was super low level when I found him in the first place. Um, but yeah. This might be risky. He might actually die. You might die here. I need to pay attention to your health just in case though. I wonder if the, the poison ball is an AoE. I wonder if it's an AoE effect. Let's see. Not doing too bad so far. Taking a little bit more damage. Okay. Did we win? Oh, nope. Nope. We didn't win yet. We didn't win yet. Okay, I think we won. I think we won now. Um, I think we won. How many levels did that get us? Eight levels. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna put a lot of this into DPS though. A lot of it's going into DPS. I need to level up his health whenever I do get a chance to. Um... But yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to call it here as far as the episode goes. We're going to we're definitely going to have to go back out there and find ourselves some more lightning wyverns and poison wyverns. I think we're going to ice wyverns. We have a lot of ice wyverns. Um, we have a lot of ice wyverns. So we need to get ourselves a high level fire wyvern, a high level lightning wyvern and maybe another poison wyvern um, and be happy and then go fight that alpha wyvern. I think that's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next episode. Um, and yeah, heck yeah, wyverns. Yeah.